wins the state championship as a right, wrestler fighters really to the middle. School. And now he's the Bantamweight champion of the Alright guys, you know this is for the championship so fight. Defend it well. Some pretty success Any questions? At Go a back young to your age, corner and come out. But he is 10 years older than Chester. Chester B3 Legion, this is your main event. Get on your feet and let's make some noise. Very unprecedented, so we're going to watch how this one shapes up right here. Chester stands up, likes to brawl. That's what he'll try to do. Meanwhile, Hall, he can box, he can wrestle. So there's a combination of things he can end up doing. Round one, here we go. And the action should be fast and furious in front of this Ch sellout crowd. Chester throws unbelievably hard punches for being this little. Brian Hall is very aware of that, so he's you know, definitely kind of staying back on his distance. him up. Look for an arm bar attempt by Chester right now. Brian Holt in a pretty decent position. He's in a little bit of trouble, but not much. Back to guard. You know, Chester hit him with that body shot, and then <laughs> Brian just said, you know, forget this, and went right for the takedown. And some strikes here from the ground for Brian Holt. Put this one away early. You know, Hall's got a very amazing base. I don't see Cody Chester rolling him or, or, or sweeping him right here. So look for Hall to remain on top for this whole round. Right now he's got Cody Chester in what's called a crucifix. He's got his right arm isolated between his legs. And he's isolating his arm with his head. And he's running down punches. Chester's out of the crucifix. Chester's trying to fight back from a load of trouble here. There's a good little jab right there by Chester, but Hall now pounding. Under a minute to go here in round one. You know, both men are actually delivering punches from their position, so. And Brian can't really get a solid hit on Chester, so he's getting. You know, he's trying to do everything he can. Almost comes in, mount, full mount on Hall. Can Mighty Mouse survive this first round of this onslaught for Brian Hall, the Bantamweight champion? Look for Hall to push off on Chester's face and rain some punches down right here. 10 seconds to go in round number one. Hall missed with that right. Hall gave up, you know. Chester gave up his back for a second. Hall did not take it. And this one will move to a second round. 35 pounds. I know he's short, but gosh, look at those thighs. He's huge. He's built. He's compact. compact. His calves as well. I mean, this is a strong guy. Right now we're going to see a boxing display from both fighters. Round two. Here we go. Right now you see Cody Chester just a little bit timid. What he's kind of afraid of right now is that takedown, Brian. So Brian should be able to open up a little bit more on Cody right here. And now staring contest going on between Chester and Hall. Each one waiting to make the first move or waiting for their opponent to make the first move. As Brian's closing him in, kind of closing him back against the cage, I think he's going to shoot a takedown right here. Chester catches him. Brian Hall threw the kick and Cody kind of caught him, but then he allowed Brian, he was kind of trying to take Brian down and then allowed Brian to, you know, to reverse it. You know, Cody just should have pushed him away and just came in with some punches. Hall trying to get that right arm free. There it was, right there, connected. 
That's the first solid hit that Brian had on Cody so far. Paul gets up on his feet. And Chester caught that kick. That's kick. Brian Hall stunned him with that kick to the stomach. And that's it. And Matt Thomas called a halt to the action. It is over. I'm not sure if that was a low blow or what happened there. Thomas waved it off, it off right? Rick? Yeah, he's going to wave it off. Thomas Bell said that. Ladies and gentlemen, here in the B3 cage in Minglewood Hall, we present the official time of one minute, 47 seconds into round number two. Referee Matt Thomas calls a halt to the bout, declaring your winner by TKO victory, and still B3 Bantamweight champion, Brian the Law Well, they're calling it a TKO win for Brian Hall. But at first, it was stopped for a low blow, so I'm not sure. Rick McCracken standing by with Brian, Brian Hall. Brian Hall, everybody. Brian Hall. Come here, man. Unfortunately, sometimes these things happen. You know, kind of take me through that right there. Uh, get him with a pretty good axe kick to the stomach. And, and it was a good hell of a fight. The guy brought it all. He's a young, good competitor. And I see he got a bright future. There's a reason why he got three belts around his waist. There's a reason why he got 14 wins and only two losses. The man is good. Give him the respect that he needs and the respect that he deserves. Yeah, you know, it was pretty even till right there. You know, you're working your ground game and your takedowns kind of, you know, dominated that first round. But that second round, you guys decided to stand. How was that going? I went well. I was trying to time him real good. Um, I saw that he just hooked, do a lot of hooks, so I was trying to time him for that killer punch. All right, everybody, Brian Hall, your B3 Bantamweight champion. So Brian Hall keeps the belt. We'll get some final words from Rick McCracken. Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to thank you all for coming out to B3 Fights tonight. We would also like to thank all of our sponsors, Minglewood Hall, Budweiser, Memphis Area Hooters, the United States Marine Corps, Elite Multimedia, Stand Up Fighter, Final ASP, 